Uh, is off to a rough start. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, they are. Um, and, but th- they're saying that the sales are exact, like the, uh, the game sales, despite them being low, are exactly where they need to be. Okay. Um, all of the companies that got involved with the Ouya are uh, basically looking at it as bonus money. Uh, they weren't expecting a whole lot out of the market Ula, of the uh, Ouya market. Mm-hmm. So anything they get from that is just bonus revenue. But from the beginning, uh, apparently kick, uh, the backers on the Kickstarter had a lot of problems in shipping. Yeah. Uh, things would come up damaged. Things would come up late. Things would come up missing. Um, <laughs> there's reports of people not receiving a controller. So it's not wow. they can't even use it when they get it. Um, the, the console itself would come up damaged. Or it would just bomb. took extremely long for them to get the pro- the product to begin with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think this is just growing pains of a new company in the long run. I mean, it sucks. It makes them look pretty bad. Uh, but, I mean, you wouldn't expect this from Apple. Really, who is we are? How big is the company at this point even, you know? Well, uh, it, it, you're right as far as that's concerned. Like, it, it's, it's a new company. It's mm-hmm. not that big of a company. <laughs> And they got slammed. Uh, this thing did far better than anyone ever expected it to. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, out, you're you're it, it, you're already hitting delays right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think I think it was miscalculation of when they you know the shipments didn't beat it to the store shelves. Um, but at least they're making they're making moves to to correct it with something like this, right? Yeah. So, um, actually, guys, this is actually our boss battle question as well. I, we can bring that in here. Do you think Kickstarter is a good way for gamers to have their voice heard? Uh, yes. Yes. I think in a lot of cases, I all these so crowdsourcing too. ones are. Uh, it's just the execution. You know, I, we're still to see. There was a Carmageddon uh, Kickstarter about a year ago, but how long is it mm-hmm. going to be before we see that game come out? Uh, and, and unfortunately, there's a long tail to that. Uh, um, I have not been, and, and granted, like some of them are a little more recent, but I actually have not seen a product come from a Kickstarter yet that, that like I've received. You know. Um, mm-hmm. And and the ones I can think of, like you know, I think the closest is going to be the one uh, the the album we helped uh, via the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, but beyond that, like one's a comic book that's going to take months. I just put in for another comic book that's going to take months to put out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so wasn't so, wasn't the cave a Kickstarter project? Which one was the cave? I think it was the one on Xbox Live, or am I thinking of a different one? It was a Tim Schafer game. I, I think know. it's a great way. It's another way to say, "Hey, do we really need another Carmageddon game?" See if anybody, if anybody agrees with that, and put the money mm-hmm. where their mouth is, and, and and it's easy to say, "Hey, here's a digital code for maybe the older games uh, while you're waiting for this, or you'll get uh, first access to it, or your name will be in the credits, or something like that." Uh, just for somebody that wants to support the product, some of the things I've given money to, I kind of don't. I mean, I it would be nice to get the thing promised to me, but as long as the thing happens, I'd be happy with it because I've contributed to it. Because mm-hmm. this may be something that I believe it's you know uh, friends of the show or or, or whatnot. In, in that case, or just somebody I think is really cool, and I, I kind of support most projects they do. In the case of like something like Jonathan Colton, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it is. Do you have fans? You know, uh, mm-hmm. is is there a need for this? And if there isn't, if if the guys came out with the Carmageddon game or this cave game, and I don't know, everybody's like, I, I don't think you know there's there wasn't enough people to say hey this isn't a good idea then you're not making a game that flops you know what i mean it is a good idea to have kickstarter in your life pretty much yeah because it gets people who you don't know and it gets them it's your foot in the door to make your game Mm -hmm. or your controller as the delta six is yeah or your or your console as the Ouya is figuring out. The Ouya, the problem with that one was like Chachi said, they got swamped. Mm-hmm. Like I, they were. I think they were the ones, the biggest grossing, the biggest grossing Kickstarter on there. So, yeah, that. I think so too. Um, but they had to make all those. All those controllers, all those video games, or all those consoles, and everything else that goes along with that, in that period of time, 
mm-hmm. they needed time to you know do sh- stuff like that and get it out. The same thing. Delta Six is probably going to have that same problem because it's a cool idea that most gamers want. Mm-hmm. They want a realistic feel, and they're going to get that with the Delta Six. Yeah. And well, as for cool. indie games, oh, and you know, I've seen many apps on there for this, and many of the backers on there are aren't you know aren't Sony or stuff like that. They're indie independent gamers who want to get their foot in the door and say, "Hey, look what I did! Mm-hmm. Look what I already did! It's awesome." But that's what Kickstarter does for people. Mm-hmm. It helps them get their foot in the door. My whole thing with Kickstarter is the people using it that don't need to use it. Okay. Um, we've, been, we've been through this one before. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, my main example, Penny Arcade. Mm-hmm. Don't need to use it. Don't like the fact that they did. Um, then I, don't donate. I think, I, I think I though, that that... I, but it, it's... it's Unfortunately, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. No, no. Go ahead and finish. You're just on a slight lag. Uh, it, it's you're right. Just don't donate. But you know what? They're taking money away from people or that could use the help to get their product out because their product is worth donating. Mm, I don't know about that. I'll get to here, AJ. But just the the thought on that because I don't think it's really taking it like you know, food out of the independence mouths because the people that are dumping money into it are already the Penny Arcade fans. You know, all they're, all they're saying is going on Penny Arcade and saying, hey, we got this thing over here. Wouldn't it be great if these ads went away? And those people were funneling over. But in the meantime, how many of those people know what Kickstarter is now? Maybe they're going and checking out more independent games. AJ? I, I'm, I'm kind of with you, Chachi, on the do they need to do that? Is there any real reason they're using Kickstarter? I think in the ca- in the particular case of um, their uh, downloadable content podcast, that was a different story. I think the ad thing was an interesting thing, a, a way for b- fans to basically say, we want to pay to not have ads. Um, the podcast one was a, was a jerk move. They set the goal at $10. Did you see that? No. So they did two. Yeah. They did two Kickstarters. The first one was to get rid of ads on the site. The second one was to do a podcast to bring back the downloadable content podcast. They set the goal at like ten dollars. The base, the bare minimum, like buy-in is ten dollars. So basically, anything past ten, they were getting all of that money. Yeah. Now mm. there's two ways to roll with that. A, they're saying, listen, we're just trying to get whatever we can. We don't have a specific goal in mind, blah, 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 whatever. The other one is um, we know exactly what we need, and we guarantee that we're going to get it from our fans. So we're just going to go ahead and set the goal for $10 and just take all that cream off the top. They didn't have to worry about hitting a goal of $50,000. They got all of the money off the top. Even um, if they would have been like $200, just to not be such big kind of dicks about it. You know, mm-hmm. my, interpretation my, my thing with with Kickstarter is the entire idea of it is anybody can go out and crowdfund whatever it is that they want. Yeah. Famous, not famous, whatever. Yeah. Is the benefit to the, the independents who don't have the ability to you know walk into a Hollywood office and say, I want to make this movie or I want to make this TV show or I want to do X? Yeah. It's to the benefit of the independents to have the kind of cash to go into somewhere and say, hey, we have 20,000 people who backed our Kickstarter who want this and have already put their money up. We want to make this product. It helps. But I think that having that... I, I, it, it's the system a, can be gained. The system can be gained, but every system can be gained. There is no system on earth that cannot be gained. Um, was it... Uh, the big one that came out... The other one that came out was... Um, Who's the guy from Scrubs? Zach Braff. Zach, Zach Braff. Braff. Zach Braff wanted to make a movie. Yeah. And decided to go on Kickstarter and but do it. was a sequel to Garden State, wasn't it? I th- yeah, I think it was a sequel to Garden State. He could walk into a Hollywood studio and get it. Especially saying, this is a sequel to a movie that's been proven s- that, that was successful. Mm-hmm. He could pull it off. But 
whether or not he actually needed to was a different story. So that's like EA saying we want to uh, crowdfund the next Madden or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, does, he wanted exactly. no, in an extreme if, case. But if no, if it's like if EA said we want to crowdfund, what's a game that EA dropped? A sports game? That uh, EA dropped? Uh, the, how Nuclear Strike? Remember the old Strike games, Jungle Strike, those old helicopter games? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Let's make a sequel to that. We want to make a new Jungle Strike game. Yeah. Does EA? What it does is, and this is what Penny Arcade was set. What Penny Arcade said they was they were using Kickstarter for for the podcast. It was to gauge interest. Yeah. So they're not going to go through, and this is why you set a high goal. We're not going to go make a podcast about, um, you know, our what we do on a day to day basis, and go through the you know take the time to go through it if nobody's actually downloading it. Because subscribers on iTunes doesn't necessarily mean that people are actually listening. So, sorry, podcast people. I know you all want subscriptions via iTunes. It doesn't mean that people are actually listening. I subscribe to a lot of podcasts I don't listen to. These not being one of them. I listen to this show all the time. <laughs> um, so, they, they're gauging the interest. Yeah. Because when you're telling people to put your money where your mouth is, that is more than saying... It's the highest I'll, engagement. It's the highest engagement. It's better than them saying, I'll totally download this when this comes out. Th- that doesn't mean anything, especially when it takes a long time to get to said product like a video game. Mm-hmm. So when you put your money where your mouth is, that money comes up. So that's that's kind of where I'm feeling on it, Josh. All right. 